we, we only got to touch on it last time, a little expanded. For you, you obviously had the short. Yes. When you were mapping it out with Al, yeah. what was the challenges of trying to like branch it out? You know, was it beat sheets? Was it index cards? How did you, what was the initial structural challenge of expanding it? Uh, the structure, it was just an outline that we kind of worked on. Um, I mean, kind, kind of a very loose outline of just beats. You know, we were, we were looking to follow the tropes of all of these biopics, so we, the blueprint already existed, and it was our job to kind of color outside the lines a little bit so it wouldn't just be a predictable cookie-cutter biopic. But we, you know, we, we many movies before us had mapped it out. <laughs> it was kind of taking that structure and then breaking it and putting it back together. As a collaborator with Al, was it good having something to bounce off each other? Could you guys rein each other in, for example, both of you? Did it good having that sounding board where you both could push back on each other a little? Yeah, absolutely. And, and especially the way that, you know, once we completed our outline, the way we broke the script up, you know, we broke it into a bunch of different chunks and, you know, made the agreement that we would have no ego about it. You can, we can rewrite each other. You know, you could fight for something that you love if you wanted to stay in the script, but... Um, ultimately, unless we both agree on something, it's not going to be in there. And uh, but it was great just having him, especially. I mean, you know, as a as a comedy writer, Weird Al was such a huge influence on me. I mean, he helped develop my sense of humor when I was young. So it's sort of a bizarre experience, you know, getting to be getting to write a movie with him. Now, when I saw Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, 20 years ago, and when I saw 13, everyone which were wonderful roles. I thought they need to do an Al Yankovic, uh, you know, Madonna love story. That's how I saw that 20 years ago. But what did you see? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, the two of them were such perfect choices for something like this. You know, we really wanted um, to lean into the drama. You know, we're like, we have to find dramatic actors that are, are going to also have a funny bone, get what we're going for, but not, uh, you know, not, not try to push the comedy too much, but really lean into the absurdity of this script being played dramatically. Uh